Welcome everybody to Bedbug TV. I'm your host, Jeff White. And in today's episode, I wanted to talk to you about a story that recently ran online, uh, and it was on the BBC's website, and it talked about a study that was recently conducted at the University of Sheffield that demonstrated that bedbugs don't like body hair, um, meaning that they shaved one person's arm and left another person's arm covered with hair, and they showed in a study that the bedbugs would rather feed on the arm with no hair on it, which suggests that bedbugs don't like body hair. And, you know, it's not, the study itself is not, not a huge shock. Um, obviously, the hair on a person's arm uh, makes it more difficult for bugs to access the skin where they feed. Their mouth parts aren't extremely long, and so they really need to get right up against the body to feed. And hair is obviously more difficult for them to work through. And so, not a hugely shocking study. Also, when a bug is walking across a person's body, if they're tickling that hair, it probably makes the person more uh, adept to wake up while the bug is walking on them, and then potentially see the bug crawling on them. And so it could also be a survival mechanism, which hasn't been proven, so that's not that's theory at this point, but it could be a survival mechanism as well. And we've seen bed bugs walking on sheets, or it's walking on the bed, and standing on the bed or sheets and feeding on the person or the, the subject that's in that bed, meaning that they don't even walk on the, the, the body to begin with, and probably to not, you know, lower the risk that that person wakes up. And so the study wasn't a huge shock. Now, the reason for this episode, though, is to tell people that you need to be careful when you see these lab studies in regards to how you, you know, take them and what you do with that information. Now, I get a lot of emails from a lot of viewers from all over the world, and, you know, people come up with these crazy ideas, and when they're pressed with you know, bed bugs inside their house and they're having trouble getting rid of them and, and they don't know what else to do. I could see somebody taking this information and taking it to an extreme, saying, you know, well, the University of Sheffield show that, that bed bugs don't like body hair, so I'm going to go to bed in, in, a, in a Halloween bear costume and that way bugs won't feed on me or I'm going to let all the hair on my body grow out and that will protect me from bed bugs. No. That is not necessarily what the study is showing. And I've actually seen bed bugs feed on a cat before while in somebody's apartment that was infested with bed bugs. And obviously cats are covered in hair to a level that no human, at least that I know of, can be covered with. And what the bug was doing is it was standing on the bed and feeding on the bottom of the cat's foot. And so hair is not going to protect you from bed bugs. It's not going to keep bed bugs from feeding on you. You know, you will almost always have exposed skin somewhere on your body, and when a bed bug is hungry, it is going to find a way to get to food. And so, letting the hair grow on your body is not going to protect you from bed bugs. You know, putting on a Halloween costume of a bear, such as this, is not going to protect you from bed bugs. And yes, that was a lovely picture of me uh, in a Beauty and the Beast costume um, that uh, was taken and uh, has popped up in many different places. Nonetheless, that is not going to protect you from bed bug bites. And so this is just a word of caution, you know, be careful when you're reading studies in regards to how you, you know, you take that information and what you do with it. You know, just because a lab study showed that bed bugs don't like hair does not mean if you have hair on your body, bed bugs won't feed on you. Um, you know, but like I said, it does show that, you know, bed bugs may not like to, uh, walk on a person while they're feeding because if they tickle the hair it might wake them up. And so there is some things that does, and this could also talk about host specificity. Specificity, I hate that word. Um, in that, you know, bed bugs might feed on a human more readily than a family pet because that family pet is covered with hair and there are very few areas to feed on that pet where they can access skin. Now that's just theory and that's just something that you might take away from this study. Hasn't been proven yet, but that is something that I think that this study starts to allude to. Um, and that's where you want to go with this information. So this is my warning, don't wear bear costumes to bed at night. <laughs> no, basically just be careful how you take this information. And this goes with anything. Anytime we have lab studies, you want to make sure those lab studies also get conducted in the field with real test subjects and real infested apartments and, and whatnot because what you find in the lab doesn't always translate in the field. We've seen it with monitors, we've seen it with pesticides, and the same thing goes with behavioral ecology, which is what this study started to talk about. All right, anybody, everybody, anybody or everybody, if you have any questions about this topic or anything else, jeff.white at bedbugcentral.com. Email me anything you have, and I hope to see everybody soon enough.